Well, I haven't shown you my new toy. Most of you have been following long enough to have seen my other golf cart that I camoed up and fixed up. And changed the batteries out on them, on it, to um, the big 12 volt batteries that I use in the uh, in my solar power system. And it fried. It finally uh, gave up the ghost. It was an 86 model. And uh, so I went down, said I wasn't going to do it, but I did. And uh, I just happened to be there when, just an hour or two after this one came in, I was a trade-in. It's not new by any means, but it does have the, uh, the lift kit. Uh, it's probably six inches higher than my other cart was, probably. Um, it's, anyway, it's been raised. It's got the big tires on it. Uh, I have taken it places where I would not have taken my other one <clears throat> by any means because it would just uh, gotten stuck or sticks and stones and whatever raking under the bottom of it would have pulled something loose. It's got a nice work bed in the back. It's got a hitch, a receiver rather, for a hitch. And uh, he said these were rated up to uh, 2,000 pounds, but it also has a seat in the back. Put your feet there. Got some storage underneath. Fold her down to a bed, a work bed. So I think I'm going to like it. I'll keep it for a long, long time probably. Yes, I need to be walking more. But, uh, you know, if I'm going to go work on the blackberries or go on do something. I, uh, it's pretty neat to throw some shovels in this and I got to find a carrier. My other ones just stood straight up and down where the golf clubs would normally stay. So I need to tie something here, do something where I can tie my shovels in here instead of just laying them across here. But if we have a uh, company over and they want to see the place, all we got to do is flip that up and take off. But again, it's rated, God told me it's rated to, to tow about 2,000 pounds. So, I probably won't do that with it, but uh, I've got a bunch of little trailers around here. I'll, uh, I'll load it up when I'm picking some groceries or something. But I thought you might want to see it. Nice little easy go. This is a 99. And uh, it's got, uh, man, it's even got a rear view mirror. What you talking about? That's just too cool. Too cool. Uh, but it will get up and go. 36 volt batteries these are trojan t105s which is the guy at the cart place told me that if i if i ever have to replace to get the trojan t105s in fact my uh son-in-law's father who uh, gave me the other golf court told me uh t105s trojan batteries were the ones to have so it's got uh, i think a two-year-old set of trojans on it and um so it's got six six volts which makes it a 36 volt cart I like it. Thought you might want to see it. Shoot, you might want to even take a ride. All right, let's go. Grapes. Grapes. Muscadines. garden. Plums and plums. Nectarines and nectarines and four nectarines there. A junkie boy. Big K. Chicken coop. We're back where we started. Uh, now this is not my whole place. <laughs> I wouldn't have bought it. I don't need a car just to ride <laughs> that far. I've got uh, under, a little under 20 acres and uh, it comes in handy. Thought you might want to see it. If I ride down into my my beehives or something, I can sneak up on the bees and I'll never know I'm coming. Never know I'm coming. But if it wasn't lifted, I wouldn't have bought it. I was looking at something else. 
Going to spend probably less. I was going to spend the same money on a newer one, but to get them lifted is about $1,200. So that and the uh, the fold-down seat in the back is $500. So it's got nearly $2,000 worth of options on it, probably with the trailer hitch and everything. Probably $2,000 worth of options. So I thought you might want to see it. This is it. Hopefully for a long, long time. We're gone.